Today we're looking at amplitude modulation. So on this oscilloscope, which you can see, I've got my red line, which is my carrier frequency, which I can adjust, make it a higher and lower frequency. And I've got my blue line, which is my audio signal, which at the moment is zero. So let's see what happens when we turn the audio signal up. You can see that the audio signal changes the amplitude of the carrier. And if I move the audio signal down, you'll see that it almost perfectly fits the outline of the carrier. So this is called amplitude modulation. The audio signal, the blue line, changes the amplitude of the carrier. Now in reality, the carrier would be much higher frequency, so let's just turn it up by a factor of 10. So you would get something like this. And as my audio signal changes frequency, so the carrier frequency stays the same, but the amplitude of the carrier frequency changes. Let me just demonstrate that again, turning back down to a lower carrier frequency. As I change my audio signal from a low frequency to a higher frequency, notice that the frequency of the red line doesn't change. So the carrier frequency stays fixed, but its amplitude changes. Now this time we're going to look at frequency modulation. So again I have my red line which is my carrier and my blue line which is my audio signal and I'm going to turn my audio signal up and let's see what happens to the carrier. And what we can see now is that the amplitude of the red line stays fixed but its frequency changes. If I just freeze the display for a moment you can see that where the amplitude of the um, blue line is big up here, the frequency of the carrier is high, wherever the amplitude of the blue line is low, the frequency of the carrier is low, high, high frequency, low point, low frequency. So the blue line has changed the frequency of the carrier, but it's left the amplitude unaffected. So this is frequency modulation. This is about how to actually draw the amplitude modulated carrier. So my blue line is my audio signal, my red line is my carrier, and I'm going to start off by drawing some construction lines using dotted lines. And I want to draw the blue line, but I want to draw it completely above the axes. So I'm going to start and go up and go down. Notice I don't go beneath the axes, go up, go down, and go back up. So that's a copy of my blue line, but moved completely above the axes. Now I'm going to mirror it underneath, so I go down, back together, down, back together. So that now forms the outline of what the carrier signal is going to have to do. So now I fill in the carrier signal at a constant frequency. I've got 14 peaks on my red line, so I want about 14 on my green line. So I do this, and I just fill in between my construction lines. So my carrier is now a constant frequency but its amplitude is changing according to the shape of the blue line. Let's see how well we did. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Perfect. Not quite in phase at the end, but pretty good. That's how to draw an amplitude modulated carrier. Now we're going to try and draw a frequency modulated carrier. So we need some construction lines again, so we'll take these. And the amplitude of my FM carrier should remain constant. So my construction lines help me keep the frequency constant. And now what I want to do is I want to draw my carrier but make its frequency increase where the blue line is high and decrease where the blue line is low. So I'm going to start here, I'm going to increase the frequency and then where it starts to go long and decrease the frequency I'm going to increase the frequency decrease it and increase it there we go that's how to draw a frequency modulated carrier the amplitude stayed the same but the frequency has got higher here where the blue line's high here where the blue line's high and here where the blue line's high just like that